podcast. My name is Garmin and you can find me on Instagram as newleafdesigns.nl and my website is also newleafdesigns.nl. Um, I like to document all things knitty and crochet <laughs> and my life to becoming a full-time designer. I'm recording this little video because I wanted to show off my finished object, which is my sweater. More on that in just a minute. Um, and I just couldn't wait for the next podcast episode. Um, and I have so much to talk about that I thought I would just record a separate video. So this is my FO show Akielo sweater. Okay, first things first. Designer of this amazing sweater is Olga Butano, also known as Handmade Closet on Instagram. She has three or four patterns out right now and this sweater will be released on September 7th. I got to test knit for her. Um, I was super lucky and yes, I'm super happy that I got to knit this sweater. It is called the Occhiello sweater, which is Italian for buttonhole or eyelet. Um, and it was called that way because, um, I think I got this right, uh, kind of looks like a doily and a doily has eyelets and I think that's where the name came from. The recommended yarn for this pattern is Woolberry Yarn, uh, Woolberry Fiber Co, which is company by Bethany. Um, Bethany is an indie dyer and she dyes wonderful yarns um but she's all the way in the u.s so i couldn't get yarns from her and this was a really last minute well not last minute but a uh, really urgent um test knit so i needed to uh just grab some yarn that i had on hand um and i had just the yarns for it um but bethany does have specific kits for the occhiello sweater in the original colors by Olga and I will put in a picture here of the original sample. Uh, it's beautiful. It's it's kind of similarly colored. It's also uh, purple uh, and red uh, and with a white contrast for the lighter color in the color work and then a peachy color for the rest of the body. And it's beautiful. Um, so Woolberry Fiber Co. yarn and they will also be hosting a knit along for this sweater. I don't know where when they are starting so uh, but it's really fun so go and check that out. The yarn I used is well I've used three yarns as you can see. You need three colors for this um, sweater and you need um, one skein each of these two, um, actually more like half a skein, 50 grams of each of these colors would be more than enough, I think, um, for my size. Um, I knit the size uh, 35 inch bust, which is size small, I believe. Um, yeah, so I only used 50 grams of each color, which is about 200 um, 240 meters for color one and less than 200 meters for color two and then for the uh, main color uh, I used three skeins but they were like 60 gram skeins they <laughs> were really oddly sized um, yeah so from for a hundred gram skein you might need two or three just about three um yes and the darker color is a um, possum merino blend yarn from new zealand it's a yarn by naturally and it's their amuri four ply yarn it is actually single ply four ply is referring to um the fingering weight um and i only had 50 grams of this which was 250 meters, so I was really cutting it close. Um, yes, I only have a little bit left over, and uh, if I had any more, I might have done longer sleeves, um, but I kind of like this sleeve length. 
So that's the first color I used. Uh, the first yarn, I don't know the colorway uh, number. The second yarn, which is this beautiful hand dyed yarn, I believe it's some kind of merino mix. Um, I, I, it was gifted to me by a friend, so I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it's beautiful. It's uh, purple, pink with some blue speckles and some white. Yes, really nice. And the main color of the main yarn is also a single ply. Um, and I even have the tag. <laughs> but it's a really old tag. So can dyed yarns or candid yarns or can dyed yarns now. Uh, from Canada. Lightweight yarn, it's 100% virgin wool. Uh, oh, and each skein was 57 grams. Really weird. Um, yeah, so it's a really kind of a rustic yarn. Um, very sticky uh, in a way that the fibers kind of cling together, which is perfect for color work. So that's really, really nice. Uh, it has lots of colors. Um, not sure if you can see that it's mostly light purplish blue but there are spots of brighter blue and spots of pink in there and yeah just some varieties of uh, pink and purple and blue so i'm really pleased with uh this sweater i'm gonna give you a better look at the sweater let's see if I can do this, so I'm gonna move my chair out of the way. This is the sweater, and I haven't blocked it completely yet, which is why there's this line here. I blocked everything but this, because um, otherwise I would have to wait too long to make this video. So uh, I think this will just disappear after blocking. Uh, this was merely to uh, see how long I needed to knit the sweater. Um, so three quarter length sleeves, which I really like. Um, I like the length of the body as well. Um, there's not too much positive ease, but, but it's not too small either. So it's, it's just a really nice sweater. And, um, yeah, I will tell you something about the short we're shaping in a bit. Um, yes, but this is how it fits. <laughs> so, so the construction is top down. It's uh, cast on at the neckline and then you work in the round separate for the sleeves and everything is knit seamless um, which is really nice it was my very first color work sweater uh, but I didn't really find it difficult it wasn't my first color work project I must say um, yes yeah, so top-down construction and there is some short row shaping at the back so um, the back um, short rows are used there so that the back kind of comes up higher. Um, but I feel like it could have been even higher. Sometimes when I'm sitting, uh, the front of the sweater will really come up and like be uncomfortably high. So, um, while the bag could use some more height. So I'm frequently pulling pulling it forward. So if I would knit this again, I would do more short rows at the back. Um, that would be very easy to adapt because um, you have the short row instructions and then um, it just says repeat a number of times. And I think you would just be able to do it like to repeat it even more times um, 
I don't think you would have to really really pay any other attention to it. I think it would just be a simple fix. So if I would knit it again, I would do more short rows because, yeah, I think it would uh, benefit the fit. Um, yes, and then the color work, it just flew by. I think I had the color work all finished within a week. Um, while I thought it was going to be the most difficult part. Uh, and in a way, it kind of was the difficult part, but it wasn't really difficult. It was fun. It was a really uh, fun section to knit. And I have to say, um, during the test knit, uh, of course, we got the first, uh, well, we got the draft of the pattern. And uh, at that time, there was still a um, an error in the color work chart, um, which I don't mind. It just looks different from Olga's sweater. So, um, so in the color work chart, um, this section should have been different. So here there are three dots. And here, that should have been just a small triangle and it should have been blank above. And you can see that on Olga's sweater. I'm just gonna put in a little picture here. Uh, so you can see that she has a little triangle here. Um, and that wasn't in the pattern yet, um, but I really don't mind. I, I really like it this way. Uh, but just bear in mind that when you knit the sweater, it won't look like this. It will look like Olga's version, uh, of course, as she intended. I was very pleased that the color work was designed in such a way that the floats are very short. Um, I really don't like long floats. Floats are um, the strands that are unused, so they, um, they're on the back. Of your work but uh, so at most there would be well in some places um, there's a longer section so let me just count yeah in one section there are like 12 or 13 stitches of just one color uh, but usually uh, it's about four stitches at most for one color which is great because if your floats are too long then they can snag on things um, and the fabric will pucker uh, so when there would be longer uh, pieces of just one color then I would catch the floats in the back um, I usually catch it every third or fourth stitch um, yeah and it's really nice um, I'm, I'm used to catching floats that often because uh, I've only knit color work socks so far and with socks you really don't to, you really don't want to um, like snag the yarn um, on the inside. I guess it's less prone to snag with sweaters but um, yeah I just I just didn't want to take uh, any chances. And one of my followers on Instagram uh, mentioned that the color work kind of looks like uh, my cat, Momo. And I think that's so cute. I mean, yes, it kind of looks like, uh, like these are the eyes and this is the mouth. And if you just kind of imagine, yeah, looks like a kitty. So that's really cute. <laughs> so now I keep seeing kitties everywhere. Um, yeah really cute and there is some three color color work three strand color work uh right when you join main color so it's just a couple of rows rounds but um yeah i think three strand color work is very fiddly and i'm sure most of you feel the same way um and there's also some three color color work around the uh, cuffs 
and I haven't really figured out a way how to do it properly but um, so yeah so the floats of the main color yarn are really long but it doesn't really matter because my main color is a very sticky yarn so it kind of just stays in place and that's really nice um, I was knitting it by having two strands on my uh, left hand and I pick the yarns and the third strand I would have around my right hand and I would throw with it um, but I was just watching a new podcast episode by Caitlin from Wool Jewel just yesterday and she also mentioned three strand color work and she had this amazing piece of advice uh, saying that she would just pick two colors um, if there's three strand color work just do two colors and knit those stitches and skip like slip all the stitches that would have been knit with a third color so you do one round with just two colors and then the do another round with a third color and just knitting the stitches that you're supposed to knit with the third color and all other stitches you just slip and my mind was blown. <laughs> uh, yes, it was an amazing piece of advice and I think I'm gonna try that next time. Um, yes, because just juggling with three strands is not very enjoyable. Um, and it was just a couple of rounds, so I think it would have gone quicker if I used Caitlin's method. So I'm gonna do that next time. Okay, about the uh, fit of the sweater, uh, so I really like mine, how mine turned out. It has just the right amount of ease. The pattern is designed to have 5 to 10 centimeters, so that's 2 to 4 inches of positive ease. Um, but please note that the sweater in the picture, in the pattern picture, has eight inches of positive ease, so 20 centimeters. And I only noticed that afterwards. Um, so in the pattern picture, the sweater looks very oversized. Uh, and the color work yoke was very long. It, it just seemed like it was way longer than mine. But of course, since you know, I know now that Olga knit a bigger size, um, but I was just, uh, I couldn't figure it out because I thought, I don't knit very tight, I knit very loose. How can it be that my sweater looks smaller? So I couldn't figure it out. Um, yeah, because I did a gauge swatch um, and the recommended gauge is 26 stitches to 10 centimeters. And I had only 22 stitches per 10 centimeters. So, my stitches were way bigger than Olga's stitches um, and I was already knitting it with a smaller needle. I was knitting it on a 3.5mm uh, 3 needle which is US size 4 uh, and the pattern ha has a bigger size, 3.75mm. It's not that big of a difference but I had 4 stitches less per 10 centimeters, so that was quite a big deal. Uh, so that meant that if I was going to knit the size and the pattern, that mine was going to be much bigger. Um, yes, so I knew that beforehand. Um, I didn't want to knit this yarn with an even smaller needle um, because knitting it on a US size four, so three and a half, millimeter was already feeling like okay this is about as small as I can go um, I think otherwise the fabric would feel very stiff it is already a very stiff yarn so I didn't want to you know <laughs> go down even further since then it would be an unpleasant texture 
So I decided to just go for it mainly because I didn't have any other sweater quantities of yarn and it was quite um, a short term project. So I just cast on and I cast on with three millimeter needle. Uh, it also says in the pattern to use a smaller needle, but I use an even smaller needle since my gauge was a bit off. And I really like how it fits here. And at the color work, I uh, switched to the bigger needle to use size four. Um, because color work is kind of uh, tight, tighter than regular stockinette, so I needed on um, uh, the bigger needle. Uh, and this fits fine, but of course, as I said, color work is tighter than regular stockinette, so I knew it was gonna kind of grow bigger after I ended the color work. But what I didn't really expect, or what I hoped that would not happen, is that we kind of balloon <laughs> after the color work but it did uh, and I I had knit the sleeves both of the, of the sleeves before knitting the body and the sleeves I, I love how they fit um, I won't tell you anything about the the sizing but uh, I had my doubts um, if it was going to work but it totally works uh, and yes, I'm not gonna tell you anything about it because uh, it's a paid for pattern, but um, and the cuff, never seen it on any other sweater, um, but I really, really like it. It's a really nice technique. Um, yes. Uh, so the sleeves were fine, and then I knit the body and I knit about this much of the body and it looked kind of big and I tried it on and it was way too big and I calculated um, with my gauge and with the stitch count um, how how big it was going to be because it's, it's you don't get a really good picture when it's still on the needle so I calculated how much it was going to be and it was 105 centimeters which would have been uh, 15 centimeters of positive ease for my size which is about six inches um, and I didn't want that much of positive ease so I calculated how many stitches I would have to decrease I recorded a separate video on that, on calculating how to get the pattern to work for your um, desired measurement. Um, and I recorded that video for my uh, Patreon page, so it's already online for my patrons. And I also recorded a video on how to rip back stitches without having put in a lifeline. So I ripped back until right under the uh, sleeve separation and I decreased some stitches which I'm not sure if you can see but I decreased under the arms and yeah it's a much better fit so I'm really happy about that um, that I was able to kind of fix it and it doesn't have a balloon <laughs> effect uh, yes and any irregularities in the color work um, where it transitioned to the main color because I feel like the main yarn is a little bit thinner than the other yarns um, and it was just kind of creating this weird change in texture um, but yeah blocking just really did smooth that out so and I'm going to block it uh, in its entirety again because uh, I hadn't blocked the last um, 10 in no not 10 inches four inches or so um, yes so if I can bear to take it off today I will <laughs> uh, wash and block it again 
And as I said, I knit the sleeves before I knit the body, uh, which is my preferred way of knitting a sweater. And it is more enjoyable to knit the sleeves this way because there is less weight on your needle. There is just a yoke instead of an entire um, body. Um, and it just, there's less weight on your needle which it just makes it more uh, pleasant to knit and there's not this big blob that you have to keep turning when you turn your um, uh, your needles for another round. It's, you know, with Magic Loop, it's, um, yeah. That's why people don't like to be on Sleeve Island, but this was more like Sleeve Holiday. It was just so nice, I think. I completed a sleeve in a day, um, or maybe two days, but it really wasn't that bad. Um, I worked on it a lot in small increments of time. So I worked on it during breakfast, I took it to work, <laughs> my colleagues were flabbergasted. Um, so I, I worked on it for uh, about half an hour in the, in the morning and then 15 minutes in my lunch break and then uh, in the evening I would knit at least an hour but um, yeah so so it flew by really and um, I finished this sweater within a month I cast on on August 3rd and I um, bound off on August 31st so that was really nice um, I have never knit a sweater this fast. I haven't knit that many sweaters, um, but I've knit my very first sweater in about two years. Um, I wasn't knitting on it constantly. Um, and I've knit a cardigan for my boyfriend. Well, that was quicker, but I was using 10 millimeter needles um it's a really huge yarn um and i knit another cardigan for myself last year and it took me about half a year or a year to finish and another cardigan this year and it took me about two months and now i knit a sweater in one month so yay <laughs> but i think it was mostly due to that i had a deadline uh, because the pattern is going to be out uh, in less than a week now and you know a deadline really motivates me um, so I had to knit it within a month uh, or at least finish the yoke and one sleeve um, yeah and that was color work it just it was so fast and I think I will try some more color work sweater sweaters um, yes I really like that but I don't have any uh, sweater quantities of yarn except for the ones that I'm already knitting which is just a merino mohair um, blend um, so it's not any color work but yes I would like to knit some more color work sweaters yeah, so I think that's about all <laughs> I wanted to say on this sweater, like, a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure this is a really, really long video already, so I'm happy I didn't do it um, in a real podcast episode, um, but in a little bonus video. Uh, so I hope I got you excited to also knit an Akiello sweater. It's really, really fun to knit, and keep an eye out for that knit along that Olga and Bethany will be hosting. Um, yes, that was it. Happy knitting. See you next time. Bye-bye.